Tesla has just pushed out a big new update to their most popular vehicle, the Model Y SUV. Alongside that, there's also a new version of the Model 3 sedan on the way, but we'll circle back to that later. The newest Model Y is being called the Model Y L, with that L standing for either large or maybe even long, because that's the biggest difference we're getting here. This is now a stretched out Model Y that's been made to hold six seats and three rows of two dot. Now, this is not Tesla's very first attempt at a three row Model Y. A few years ago, they released one that squeezed in seven seats. That one had a normal three seat bench in the middle and then two very tiny seats in the back trunk space. It's unclear how many people actually bought that version. But what was clear is that those third row seats were only useful for really small kids. Honestly, that's fair. Because trying to fit seven people into a crossover SUV that's based on the smaller Model 3. Sedan platform was always going to be a stretch. But this time it seems Tesla has done things properly. They've extended the car's overall length by seven inches, and six of those inches are added to the wheelbase between the front and rear axles. On top of that, the new Model Y is also 1.7 inches taller than before, and instead of trying to cram in three across, Tesla has gone with a two-seat layout for each row. That way, all six passengers get more space and comfort. Even if you only have five people riding, each of them will still have more personal room than in the regular Model Y that naturally gets people thinking about the robo-taxi idea again, but we'll touch on that soon. One of the most interesting details about the new Model Y is that it now actually has a longer wheelbase than the Model X. The new Model Y L sits on a 119.7-inch wheelbase, while the Model X is at 116.7. The Model X is still a little longer overall though, measuring 199.2 inches compared to the Model Y's 195.9. Still, this makes it very clear just how much the Model X has fallen out of favor. The X has already been available with both 6-seat and 7-seat interior options, yet Tesla clearly felt they needed another choice in that same market. We don't have official numbers broken out just for the Model X, but we do know that in Q2 of 2025, Tesla only delivered 10,394 vehicles in total from the combined SX and Cybertruck lineup, giving Cybertruck the benefit of the doubt and assuming it takes up the majority of those sales, that means Tesla is probably only moving a few hundred Model Xs each month, at most. That shows Tesla has been missing out on the large family, EV segment, which is exactly the gap this new longer Model Y is aiming to fill. The problem for Tesla is that rivals have already jumped in to grab that space. Hyundai has just launched a massive three-row electric SUV, the Ioniq 9 Kio has the EV9, built off the same platform. Volvo has the EX90, Rivian is selling the R1S with a real third-row option. So the Model Y L is entering a crowded market. But this might be exactly what Tesla needed to stay competitive. Now, while the Model Y was the top-selling car in the entire world in 2024, it's not doing quite as well this year. By the halfway point of 2025, the Model Y had dropped down to fifth place. It's now behind the Toyota RAV4, the Ford F-Series trucks, the Toyota Corolla, and the Honda CRV. The funny part is that all of those competitors only max out at five seats. So by offering a bigger, more practical family option, Tesla might be able to climb back up the charts. Talking about price and range, the new Model Y L is launching first in China. It has 427 miles of range on the CLTC cycle with an 82 kWh LFP battery pack. It's tough to say exactly how that will translate when the vehicle eventually comes to the American market, looking at the Model X for reference. Upgrading from 5 seats to 6 costs around $6,500, so we can expect at least that much of a jump for the Model Y L, if not more since the vehicle itself is physically larger and not just adding a couple of seats. But if more seats isn't what you're after and you'd rather have extra range, Tesla has another new car coming. The Model 3 Plus is currently in development, and it's going to offer up to 500 miles of range. This one will be a single-motor rear-wheel drive car with a brand new battery pack supplied by LG Energy Solutions, using higher energy density cells. Like the Model Y L, the Model 3 Plus will also launch only in China at first dot. What the Chinese don't have yet though, is Tesla's robo-taxi program. To be fair, most Americans don't have it either, but there is a very small group of lucky people who do, and only within a very limited area in Austin, Texas. That's the only place where Tesla's driverless taxi experiment is currently being tested in public. The big news from last week was that Tesla expanded the service area to a larger section of Austin, trying to wind up its competitor, Waymo. But Waymo quickly hit back by expanding its own network even further, making Tesla's attempt look small. By comparison, Tesla's map expansion was portrayed as a bit of a joke, but Waymo responded by more than doubling their already bigger service area. 
Now Waymo covers 90 square miles in Austin, extending both north and south, and in total operates over 700 square miles. When you include California and Arizona, it's also important to note that this isn't really a fair competition yet. In Austin, anyone can book a Waymo ride at any time using the Uber app, and the cars are actually fully autonomous with no driver. Meanwhile, Tesla's robo-taxi program is only available to a hand-picked group of influencers who always speak positively. About Tesla, the rides are limited to certain hours. Ending at midnight, there's still a human in the driver's seat, and each ride costs $6.90. So Tesla has a very long way to go before this becomes a real, scalable business. Still, we can see the strategy taking shape. Tesla seems to be building a fleet plan with different cars for different types of trips. There's the rumored Cybercab coming next year which is designed for one or two passengers on typical ride-hailing trips. The new long Model Y would be better for trips with more passengers. And while the Model X exists, it's too expensive and difficult to build in high volumes, making it a poor fit for a nationwide taxi service. Speaking of new Tesla ventures, let's talk about the Tesla Diner in Los Angeles, California. This is a retro-inspired supercharger hangout spot that just had its first soft launch. It's located on Santa Monica Boulevard and the opening event was held for LA first responders on Monday. 